so pitch measurement is the last topic in the measurement of screw threads so why the measurement of pitch is necessary so that is a basic question here so error in the error in the pitch error in the pitch error in the pitch of a nut or bolt of a nut or bolt have major effect on the accuracy of the assembly hence the pitch measurement of the pitch is necessary to get the following uh, to get accurate measurement of the pitch we are using a we are following a two methods one is pitch measuring machine and another one is optical projection so uh, first we will discuss the pitch measuring machine just i will uh, write write the figure of pitch measuring machine so this is the these are the two centers these are the two centers this is the micrometer this is the micrometer micro meter so these are the centers between these two centers we will fix the specimen fix a specimen here so for these two specimen first uh, to find out the accuracy we are using a here exact position indicator that is a position indicator so this is spherical stylus so we are using a one system that is one spring loaded on stylus spring load on stylus this is the stylus part so this is the exact position indicator exact position indicator this is the position indicator so position indicator this is the exact position indicator this is the spring loaded on the stylus this is the spherical stylus this is uh, in between two threads we have to keep here for the measurement that i will show it here how the moment of the screw though if the moment this is figure a and in the figure b this is the moment if you consider this is the moment of the screw in this in this direction so so this is the line pitch line this three are the pitch this are the pitch that is p1 p2 and p3 position this is we can consider a b a dash b dash a double dash b double dash this is the pitch here pitch position so this these three line we can call it as a what spherical stylus spherical stylus in as we have mentioned in the figure number a spherical stylus at stylus at p1 p2 and p3 position this one here spherical stylus and uh, at p1 p2 and p3 position 
now the moment of the screw is in in this direction now we'll discuss the how 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 it will be how this method will help in finding out the uh, accurate measurement of the pitch now the pitch measuring machine is is very simple and accurate method of pitch measurement is a very simple one and the component to be tested is securely mounted between the centers as we have discussed in the figure number a the mounted in between the between the centers sorry here, here this one between the centers we have mounted the specimen here this is the specimen so the machine consists of what stylus uh, of such dimension then we, uh, that when it lies in the lies in the v groove it contacts the thread flanks as in the figure number a uh, the spherical stylus is used here which lies between the v grooves here this is the v groove one v groove uh, it can be lies in the v groove it, 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 it contacts the thread flanks here it, it contacts the what here in the thread flanks so this is the this is the flank portion so again it it, it touches the thread flanks here like that here how it will be touch both in the figure number a and figure number b okay the stylus is what spring loaded to make contact with the flanks it is spring loaded one as you show in the figure number a when the stylus is correctly positioned in the v groove it is correctly positioned in the v groove the carriage of the machine which carries the stylus and indicator can be displaced parallel to the work axis by using a micrometer screw by using a micrometer screw uh, the the carriage of the machine uh, which carries both the stylus here which carries both the stylus and the indicator can be displaced parallel to the work axis by using a micrometer screw here and by using a micrometer screw we can easily uh, it can be displayed parallelly on the work axis a large dial is used here we are using a what a large dial is attached to the micrometer screw uh, when the pointer when the pointer is in the accurate position when the pointer is in the accurate position the micrometer reading is noted when the micrometer reading is noted then the stylus is moved along into the next thread space by rotating the micrometer and the next reading is taken as i have shown in the moment of the screw is in this direction like this after one a b and the next step a dash b dash and the next step a double dash and the b dash d b double dash so so successive measurements are read from the micrometer as we have shown in the figure number b the difference between the two readings indicates the pitch of a thread the difference between the two reading indicates the pitch of the thread for exact positioning of the stylus for these three stylus exact position of the stylus the stylus should touch the point a and b so as we have discussed here it can be touched to the thread of the thread flank here as shown in the here no flank thread flank uh, so that is the correct position it touches the point a and b on the flanks along the pitch line this is the pitch line here we are shown here pitch line dotted one for exact position of the stylus the stylus should touch the point a and b on the flanks along the pitch line this is about the pitch measuring machine in the next video we will come to uh, we will discuss the another one that is optical projection method thank you